we have to use here. So let us check. Now we know that what is the sine square a by b. Now since cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a, this is the formula from trigonometric identity. Or 2 sine square a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a. Or 2 into sine square a by 2 by 1 is equal to 1 minus cos a. This is the formula which we have to use here. 2 sine square a by 2. Because if it is 2 sine square a only, <coughs> the angle is single, then 1 minus cos twice of a. Because cos 2a, we know that it is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a. Take note 2 sine square a to this side. That is that. This will be equal to 1 minus cos 2. 1 minus cos 2 is 2 sine square a. Or sine 2 sine square a by 2. Then angle is double here. Here it is single. If it is single, then it will be half. If it is single, 1 minus cos a, then it is half. The angle is half. If this is single angle. This is the value of 2 sine square a by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos 2. Or we can write it as sine square a by 2 equal to 1 minus cos a upon 2. And square root I'll write later for sine a by 2 will be square root of this whole. Let me put here. Or this implies that sine a by 2 is equal to square root of 1 minus cos a upon 2. So sin a by 2, if I substitute the value of cos a, which is this value, cos a is b square plus c square minus a square upon twice b c. If I substitute here in place of cos a, the value of this, and solve this, and if it is uh, change into this value, then we will prove that yes, this is sin a by 2 to do this. Okay, now let me prove this. So this we have found the formula from trigonometry. Identity. Okay. This trigonometric identity we have to use here. So we have just written down. If sin, since sin a by 2, I have just proved sin a by 2 is equal to square root of 1 minus cos a from 2 from trigonometric identity. This is trigonometric. Identity. This is the formula, trigonometric formula. We just try to put here. We should now substitute the value of cos. This will give us 1 minus cos a. Cos a is this whole value, which is v squared plus c squared minus v squared upon twice a whole divided by sorry, twice bc. And so this twice BC divided by 2. So if I take twice BC LC, twice BC will come here in the denominator multiplied with 4 BC. Now let me solve it here. So I am solving it here. So sin A by 2 is going to be square root of twice BC I have taken LC. And that twice BC will multiply 2, which is in the denominator. Twice BC and 2 multiply, and for this twice BC comes here minus, if I open the minus sign the numerator, it will be minus B square minus C square plus B square. It will be like this. Let me take this further. So what do we see here? If I take A square is positive. Let me add first a square. Then take minus and common from these two. This will be minus b square plus c square minus twice b in the bracket. Okay, but this twice b will be negative. If I take a square, which is positive, a square I have first, then take minus and we have common from these three. b square positive, c square will be positive inside the bracket. And this will be negative. Okay. Divided by 4 BC. Simple. 
in a state of its purpose. Now this is A is appearing, minus, what would this? This is A, B is kept, so C is kept, not twice this. That means this is B minus C whole is kept. So we write it, this is B minus C whole is kept. Divided by two, this is whole B C. Why? Because the simple formula A is B is kept plus minus twice A B is A minus B whole is kept. This is B minus C whole is kept. So this is B C. Okay? Now what is C? Uh, let me take that piece of A square minus B square is equal to A plus B in bracket one. In one second bracket, it is A minus B, nano bracket. In first bracket, it is A plus B. And in second bracket, it is A minus B. A is common B square, we can apply this formula here. A square minus within bracket, whatever value is there. That will be added one, and second time it will subtract it. It can be written as square root of. A plus let me write first A minus B in one bracket. So A plus plus sign. If you open the bracket, then it will be sign will not be changed. This is B minus C only. But if I put minus sign, A minus, then B will be minus and C will be for this. This is divided by four B. Try to understand. Now, one thing next I will use here. What that? That is described by now that we use for the formula here. Now <coughs> we know that twice as since twice as equal to a plus b plus c. Alright. Now if I subtract twice c here, then twice as minus twice c. If I have subtracted twice c from both sides, it will be a plus B plus C minus plus C. That means A plus B minus C. In place of A plus B minus C, we can write twice as minus twice C. In place of A plus B minus C in the first bracket, whatever minus sign is there, that is minus twice C. Minus C it was, which is minus twice C in this case, twice as minus twice C. So in the first bracket, we can write that like right here. So in place of a plus b minus c, we can write twice s minus twice c in one bracket. And the bracket it is now a plus c and minus b. It will be twice s minus twice b. No problem. Why? Because if I put the value of twice s, which is a plus b plus c, then one b will be cancelled out. Minus b will be left. A plus c minus b. This is a plus c minus b. In second bracket. In first bracket it is a plus b minus c. If I substitute the value of twice s, it is a plus b plus c, and minus twice c. That means a plus b minus c. A plus b minus c. So in place of a plus b minus c, we can write this. What we see here. Now it is nothing but. Two can be taken common from both the bracket, which is twice s minus c left over s minus and this two in the second bracket also into two into two s minus b here divided by four b c the four potential which is a four. Finally, we have obtained this is small s b right or simple s b kind of right. This one is s minus b c s minus c divided by b c. This is the first part that sign a by two equal to s minus b s minus c upon b c. Same value is obtained. What we have done? We just applied the, I mean this formula. What is value of sign a by two equal to under root of so one minus cos a upon two. Well, now cos a upon value of cos a we have to substitute. This is the answer here. This is the area. The square unit we can write here. Square unit. So unit of area is square unit. This is the area for the value of sin a upon not area. And sorry, this is value of sin a by two. Okay, so sin a by two is equal to one root of s minus b s minus c upon b c. This is the answer. This is the first part. First part, this one, which is in the right hand side, we have 
right hand side in the open. Okay, so similarly the other two parts can also be solved. Now let me take the B part. What does B part say? Now B part is sine B by two. So we screw it off. Same way we can do this. That's minus C. It's minus A upon A C A. Now we see this sine B by two. Okay, we can substitute the same value. Similarly, we can put these also. We can just say that okay. Similarly, we can put that sine B by two to this and sine C by two to this. Okay, so in that also, I mean in that way also we could say. But let me take. Okay, let me prove them also. Then I'm just going to prove put the values of them directly. Now since sine b by two is equal to under root of one minus cos b divided by two. So substitute the value of cos b. It is cos b is c square plus a square minus b square upon y c a divided by two. So value of cos b. Cos b is c square. Which one? This one. Cos b c square plus a square minus b square plus y c a. Upon y c a. Okay, so this is it. Let me write here. This is y c a minus c square minus a square plus b square upon 4 c a multiplied. Again, if I take common, this is b square minus. Second part will be c minus a whole square. B C. This is let me take c minus a whole square divided by four c. Okay, so we can write them in two ways. What is that? In this way, we can write this here. So this is equal to the value of b. No, this is a square minus b square type formula. That will be b plus c minus a in one bracket. In another bracket, it is b minus c plus a. That will be four c a. Okay, now the value of this b plus c minus a. Okay, that can be replaced as. Twice s minus twice a in one bracket, first bracket. This is twice s minus twice a. Whatever negative value is, that is put as minus twice a. But if I replace twice s, which is a plus b plus c, and minus twice, it will give us minus a. But second bracket we have minus c. It will be twice s minus twice c divided by four c a. That means four four cancel out. We got two and two common. Two into four four by four cancel out. This is first bracket s minus. Is either like a small s like in this way or this way. No problem. This is small s minus a into small s minus c. So we can write first s minus c then s minus a. Doesn't matter. This is c into. Okay. Second part here, s minus c into s minus a, or s minus a into s minus c. This is the second part here. Hence, the right hand side. This is the value of sine b by two from second part of it. This is the right hand side here. This has been put. Similarly, now we can add similarly sine c by two. Okay, so similarly. Sorry, similarly. We can prove that sine c by two equal to sine two of s minus a into s minus b divided by c a b. That is the third part of c part. Sine c by two is s minus a into s minus b upon a b. We can just substitute the value of sine c by two, which is under root one minus cos c upon two. Then we have cos c is a square minus b square minus c square plus twice c twice a b twice a b in that. Okay. So then solving the same thing for first and second, as we proved, similarly we can prove this also.
Okay, so this is what question number six we have completed. Let me take question number now <coughs> seven. Now question number seven is of what kind? Let me check it. Question number seven. <coughs> Again, how to prove cosine formula formula for some multiple of angles? This is question number seven of this kind. Now to prove the same sub multiple of angles. So we do cos a by two. We do under root s into s minus a upon b c. Yeah, this is s into s minus a upon b c cos a by two. This is and the b part is we have to prove that cos b by two equal to under root s into s minus b upon c a. And this is c part. Cos c by two is equal to we have to prove this is s into s minus c upon a b. This we have to these three we have to prove here. So in terms of cos a by two now, sin a by two we have to. This is in terms of cos a by two. Okay, let us take one by one. Again, solution here. Okay, so in a part we have cos a by two equal to one s in s minus a upon b c b. Okay. Again, let us take a triangle. We know that. This is A here. This is B C. This is A side. This is C side. This is B side. Then, on the side opposite to the angles, respective angles A opposite to A A, opposite to B is B, opposite to angle C is C. Then, on the side A B is C. This is in this way. We talk the perpendicular then. No, in this case area is not required. Only the perimeter. So that semi perimeter. That's why S is equal to A plus B plus C. Semi perimeter. In place of A plus B plus C, we can substitute twice S. It's not S is semi perimeter, but twice S perimeter. Double of that. This is A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C is perimeter of the triangle. Then some of the length of the three sides of the triangle is known as perimeter. This is the perimeter here. So if I just find out, this is S minus A. Where S minus A is angle. S minus A can be written as twice S, or we can write it as. Uh, let me take B plus C. If B plus C minus A comes out to be, then we can write it as S minus A. It is well. Why? Because S is A plus B plus C. S is A plus B plus C. A is cancelled out. In this case, B plus C minus A. Okay, so this is value of B plus C minus A. We can write in place of S minus A is B plus C only. Sorry. In place of B plus C, we can write S minus A. Because S is sorry, not S minus A, but it is upon two A with twice S minus twice A. Then we can write a plus b plus c minus a. For this two, if I take common, twice as a plus b plus c minus. So this value is equal to this. In place of a plus b plus c minus a, we can substitute here. This value, twice as minus twice a. Right. This is what we have to write here. A plus b plus c. Minus a or b plus this is for a plus b plus c minus a. In place of b plus c minus a, we have to substitute twice as minus twice a. The twice as it a plus b plus c and this minus a, the whole minus a. That this in place of this b plus c minus a, we will substitute twice as minus a. Now let me take this formula. Now we know that since cos Two a, as I put there, is equal to two cos is five a minus one. 
cos cos square a minus cos 2a but here we have cos a by 2 or cos square a by 2 we will do 1 plus cos a only or cos square a by 2 is equal to cos a upon 2 or cos a by 2 is equal to cos 1 plus cos a upon 2 so similarly as we took in the first previous question in the question number 6th one in case of sin a by 2 we put there 1 minus cos a upon 2 here it is 1 plus cos a upon 2 that is the formula here and cos square a by 2 equal to 1 plus cos a and cos square a by 2 equal to 1 plus cos a upon 2 cos a by 2 equal to 1 plus cos a upon 1 plus cos a upon 2 ok so that value we can substitute here let us take this substituting this value here ok therefore cos a by 2 therefore cos a by 2 let me substitute this value equal to 1 minus 1 plus sorry 1 plus cos a upon 2 substitute the value of cos a the cos a is what is the value of cos a but cos of a is equal to b square plus c square minus a square upon twice b c this is the formula here it is cos a this one cos a is equal to b square plus c square minus a square from twice b c b square plus c square minus a square from twice b c if this value we have to substitute therefore cos a by 2 is equal to square root of 1 plus this value which is b square plus c square minus a square divided by twice b c divided by 2 this whole two this to be cos a then is this upon 2 ok therefore if this let me solve further twice bc lcm taking twice bc lcm twice bc will come here plus this is b square plus c square minus a square whole divided by 4 bc now let us solve it so this value has come out as cos a by 2 is equal to m by u. So this is plus sign. That means b plus c whole square. The first value, which is let me write again, b square plus c plus 5 b c. This is, this is nothing but b plus c whole square. Minus this is a square upon 4 into b c. 4 into b c. Okay. Let us take what is this value. It will give us b plus c whole square minus a square divided by 4 b c. Okay. So now it is a square minus b square type formula. a square minus b square is a plus b in a minus b. In one bracket it is a plus b in another bracket it is a minus b. In the same way we can write it here since a square minus b square is equal to a plus b in one bracket in another bracket a minus b in the same way this is a minus b or this is suppose b square minus a square it will be b plus c plus a in one bracket in another bracket it will be b plus c minus a because a minus b a plus b, a plus b, a minus b, that way 4 b c, now a plus b plus c is what, it is twice s, the semi perimeter, the perimeter sorry, this is perimeter here, very small s denotes semi perimeter, the twice s is perimeter, so a plus b plus c, the second bracket it is b plus c minus c, it can be written as twice s minus twice a, twice as if I replace a plus b plus c and a one cancel out so it will be b plus c minus a b plus c minus a in case of this b of so this is this is 4 b c in the denominator ok so finally we have obtained <coughs> same value is that let me write here ok so we 
which is giving us the meat of this hope. That meat of this hope. Therefore, this value is coming out as twice s means 2 into 2 we have taken form. This is in under bracket if I write with s into s minus a. Well, this is 4 bc. 4 for times out. So we have 4, 4 upon 4 is 1, which is giving us s into s minus a and bc. The first formula is obtained. This is right inside the Part A is completed. In this way, we can prove the other two also. Okay, so for that, let me write similarly. Why similarly? Because in case of cos v by 2 will be in the root of 1 plus cos b upon 2, but two value of cos b, and then sort it, same process will be repeated. Okay, similarly, cos b by 2 is equal to in the root of this is s into s minus b upon c a and cos c by 2 is equal to in the root s into s minus c upon a b can be proved okay, in the same way. In the same way we can prove that this is equal to this. Equal to this can be proved easily. Can be proved. Okay, so this is the process. Put the formula, what is cos b by 2 or cos a by 2, cos a by 2 is and put those, what was cos a upon 2 and put the value of cos b, cos a, cos b, cos c and then we can obtain these values. Okay, so this is question number 7, let me take, the other two parts can be easily done. Okay, in the same process as we have put the part 1 or part a, we have put the same process we can put part B and C of question number 7. Now question number 8 let me talk about. Okay, the question number 8 is give part to prove again. What we have to prove here? Okay, so 10 10 A by 2. We have to prove that 10 A by 2 is equal to under the law. This is S in 10 A by 2. S minus B, sorry, this is S minus B into S minus C upon S into S minus A. We have to prove B is 10 B by 2. 10 B by 2 is going to come to the S minus C into S minus A upon S into S minus B. We have to prove. Similarly, C part, this is 10 C by 2, 10 C by 2 is equal to S minus A into S minus B upon S into S minus C, this here is equal to, so these are three formula in question number 8, which we have to try, okay, we have to prove that this is equal to this, 10 A by 2 is equal to S minus B, S minus C upon S into S minus C, now, Solution has been taken. To prove all these, we have to apply question number 6 and question number 7 both. Because sin a by 2, cos a by 2, we have already calculated. Substituting those there will give 10 a by 2 is sin a by 2 upon cos a by 2. Since right, we can write it Since 10 a by 2 is equal to sin a by 2 upon cos a by 2. But sin a by 2 is going to how much just we have proved here this is s minus b into s minus c upon b c try to understand this is the value of sin a by 2 this is good and cos a by 2 is going to be root of ok s into s minus a upon b c this is the formula sin cos a by 2 cos a by 2 is s into s minus a upon b c s into s minus a upon b c and sin a by 2 is sin a by 2 is 6 formula sin a by 2 is and root s minus b s minus a upon b c dividing this by this, this is the first equation 
second equation so from first and second from first and second we get tan a by 2 is equal to sin a by 2 upon cos a by 2 is equal to let me put here in the root sin a by 2 is s minus b into s minus c divided by bc whole divided by cos a by 2 the square root is on both so we can put one all at right separately this whole divided by and the root of s into s minus a from this ok this bc and bc can stop because they are under the same square root and the root same square root here it will be s minus b into s minus c upon only s into s minus a is left over is the right hand side ok so this value we have obtained then you write this is root just substitute the value of sin a by 2 and cos a by 2 and divide them and then denominator value will be cancelled out from this bc bc cell denominator are there they are cancelled out in this way we have to tan a by 2 is this similarly we can prove so a is proved similarly b and c can be derived similarly this can be derived ok by substituting the values of sin b by 2 cos b by 2 sin c by 2 and cos c by 2 or let me write it tan b by 2 is equal to sin b by 2 upon cos b by 2 and tan c by 2 is equal to sin c by 2 upon cos c by 2 if they are values let me say to be sin b by 2 value is this is s minus c into s minus a upon b c whole divided by s into s minus b divided by sorry here it is c a i'm sorry this is c a here here c a cancelled out the same value is obtained this is